Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. I have experienced countless adventures throughout the millennia, but the one I am about to share with you is particularly unforgettable. It was an alien invasion apocalypse simulation in the future, and I witnessed the events that unfolded in a single day. In the first hour, the sky turned an eerie shade of purple as clouds swirled ominously. People glanced upwards, confused and anxious, wondering what was happening. I knew it was the start of the invasion, and I had to prepare myself for what was to come. As the atmosphere grew thicker, the air became suffocating, and I could feel the tension building among the crowd. We were all aware that something terrible was about to happen, but we couldn't have imagined just how dire the situation would become. In the second hour, the alien fleet materialized in the skies above Earth. Their ships were enormous, dwarfing even the tallest skyscrapers. Humanity watched, frozen in fear, as the invaders revealed themselves. The aliens broadcast a message in every language, declaring their intention to conquer our world. Panic set in as people scrambled to find shelter, their voices drowned out by the deafening roar of the approaching ships. In the third hour, the invasion began in earnest. The aliens deployed their ground troops, who swept through cities and towns with ruthless efficiency. Their advanced weaponry and impenetrable armor made them nearly invincible. Resistance was futile, and I realized that our only hope was to find a way to outsmart them. In the fourth hour, I formulated a plan. I needed to gather a group of survivors, skilled in various fields, to devise a strategy to counter the invaders. Time was of the essence, and I couldn't afford to waste a single second. I rushed through the chaos, searching for those who could aid me in my mission. In the fifth hour, I found the first member of my team, an expert in communication technology. As the alien onslaught continued, we used our combined knowledge to intercept their communication signals, hoping to gain insight into their plans and vulnerabilities. In the sixth hour, we discovered a weakness in the alien's armor that could be exploited. Our team grew, adding a weapons engineer and a skilled pilot. Together, we began working on a prototype weapon that could penetrate the alien defenses. In the seventh hour, our team successfully tested the weapon, but we were running out of time. The aliens had already conquered a significant portion of Earth, and our window of opportunity was closing fast. We knew that we had to act quickly and decisively if we were to have any hope of stopping the alien invaders from achieving total domination. We scrambled to mass-produce our new weapon, enlisting the help of underground manufacturing facilities to speed up the process. In the eighth hour, we coordinated a counterattack, distributing our newfound weapon among the remaining resistance fighters. The tide of battle began to turn, as the invaders faced significant opposition for the first time. Across the globe, pockets of resistance sprang to life, striking fear into the hearts of the alien conquerors. It was clear that humanity would not go down without a fight, and we were determined to make the invaders pay for every inch of ground they had taken. In the ninth hour, our combined efforts started to show results. The aliens' advance slowed, and the resistance gained ground. We knew, however, that this was just the beginning of a long and arduous struggle. As we pushed the invaders back, their retaliatory strikes grew more and more brutal, leaving entire cities in ruins. In the face of such devastation, we had no choice but to continue fighting, drawing upon the indomitable spirit of our species. In the tenth hour, the aliens launched a counteroffensive, bombarding major cities from their ships. We had to adapt our strategy, focusing on guerrilla tactics and hit-and-run attacks to avoid total annihilation. Our team worked tirelessly to develop new ways to strike at the heart of the enemy, using our knowledge of their technology and tactics against them. We knew that if we were to have any chance of success, we would have to keep the invaders guessing, never allowing them to feel secure. In the eleventh hour, we managed to capture an alien commander, giving us invaluable intelligence about their plans and strategies. We interrogated the prisoner, gleaning crucial information about the inner workings of the alien hierarchy and their ultimate objectives. Armed with this knowledge, we redoubled our efforts, striking at the enemy with renewed vigor and determination. In the twelfth hour, our resistance movement grew stronger and more organized. We began coordinating our attacks on a global scale, inflicting significant damage on the invaders' infrastructure and supply lines. The tide was turning in our favor, but we knew that we could not afford to become complacent. The battle for Earth was far from over. In the thirteenth hour, the aliens launched a desperate, all-out assault on our remaining strongholds. We fought back with everything we had, determined to hold the line at any cost. The fighting was fierce and brutal, 
with both sides suffering heavy casualties. In the 14th hour, the alien invaders began to show signs of weakening. Their once impenetrable armor had been compromised, and their morale was crumbling. We pressed the advantage, launching daring raids on their command centers and communications hubs. In the 15th hour, our efforts began to pay off, and the alien invasion force was thrown into disarray. We relentlessly pursued the enemy, striking fear into their hearts as we reclaimed territory and liberated our captured comrades. In the 16th hour, we received word that the aliens were planning a final, desperate gambit to turn the tide of the war. We braced ourselves for the coming onslaught, knowing that the fate of our world hung in the balance. In the 17th hour, the aliens launched their final assault, a massive, coordinated attack on our remaining strongholds. Our forces were stretched thin, and we struggled to hold our ground against the relentless enemy onslaught. Despite our best efforts, we could feel the tide turning against us once again. Their weapons rained destruction upon us, and the invaders seemed to be regaining their earlier advantage. Hope began to wane as the grim reality of our situation settled in. In the 18th hour, our defenses began to crumble under the sheer force of the alien attack. The invaders deployed terrifying new weapons, decimating our ranks and leaving us reeling. As the casualties mounted, it became increasingly clear that we were fighting a losing battle. Our morale plummeted, and with each passing moment, the invaders' victory seemed more and more inevitable. We fought on, clinging to the faintest glimmer of hope that remained. In the 19th hour, our last bastions of hope fell one by one. The aliens showed no mercy, annihilating any resistance they encountered. As the survivors scattered and fled, the invaders tightened their grip on our devastated world. Their relentless pursuit of the remnants of humanity left no corner of the earth untouched, and it seemed only a matter of time before we were completely overwhelmed. In the 20th hour, the remnants of our resistance were forced into hiding. With our forces shattered and our hope all but gone, it seemed as though humanity was doomed to fall. The alien invaders moved to consolidate their control, ruthlessly hunting down any survivors. They systematically destroyed any remaining pockets of resistance, intent on ensuring the complete annihilation of our species. Every corner of the earth was scoured, as the invaders tirelessly sought out the last remnants of humanity. Our once proud cities lay in ruins, reduced to smoldering rubble as testament to the invaders' brutal conquest. Despair gripped the hearts of those who still clung to life, and the flame of hope that had burned so brightly began to flicker and fade. In the 21st hour, the aliens began systematically exterminating the remaining human population. They showed no mercy, slaughtering entire communities without remorse. As our numbers dwindled, it seemed as if the last flicker of human resistance was about to be snuffed out. The invaders deployed terrifying new weapons, capable of wiping out entire cities in the blink of an eye. The earth trembled beneath their onslaught, and the sky was filled with the screams of the dying. With each passing moment, the extinction of the human race seemed more and more certain. Even as the end drew near, however, the indomitable spirit of humanity refused to be extinguished entirely. We fought on, determined to resist the invaders until our last breath. In the 22nd hour, the final blow was struck. The alien invaders unveiled a doomsday weapon, designed to eradicate all life on Earth. As its terrible power was unleashed, cities crumbled and the landscape was transformed into an unrecognizable wasteland. Firestorms raged across the continents, and the seas boiled, leaving nothing but death and destruction in their wake. The earth was plunged into darkness, as a thick cloud of ash and debris blotted out the sun. The last vestiges of human civilization were swept away, buried beneath a tide of devastation that seemed to herald the end of all things. In the 23rd hour, the last remnants of humanity were wiped from the face of the Earth. As the alien invaders stood triumphant, our once thriving planet was reduced to a lifeless husk, devoid of hope and light. The memory of our species would soon fade, forgotten in the endless void of space. With the last vestiges of human civilization extinguished, the invaders prepared to leave our barren world behind. As they turned their gaze to the stars, seeking out new worlds to conquer and dominate, it seemed as though the story of humanity had reached its final, tragic conclusion. In the 24th hour, the alien invaders completed their conquest of Earth. With humanity extinguished and our world in ruins, they moved on to their next target, leaving behind a legacy of destruction and despair. As the last echoes of human voices fell silent, 
the invaders continued their relentless march across the cosmos, their terrible power unchecked and unchallenged. As the darkness closed in, a single thought echoed through the shattered remnants of our once great civilization. We may have fallen, but our spirit will never be forgotten. Until we meet again, farewell, 